What is going on everybody? This is going to be a quick run through on making a bash program to help clean up Docker. So here I am on one of my nifty VMs and if I go ahead and we can see that uh, Docker is running a Postgres image. I don't even remember what I was doing with that one. Uh, we can see that uh, looks like we have a metabase one and then of course there's a bunch of images. Now the correct way to do this is to clean them up as you go but sometimes I don't do that. Uh, so I find myself constantly looking for the commands to stop and remove all containers, clean up the images, uh, things like that. So if we go stop and remove all containers, Uh, let's see. I always like Stack Overflow. That is not the command I was looking for. There we go. So that's going to force the removal of all the Docker containers. So I'm just going to grab that and now they're gone. Uh, but let's make this easier on ourselves going forward. So we're just going to make a script. You can call it whatever you'd like. I think clean Docker is pretty uh, descriptive. So we'll jump in and we'll start with a shebang. Uh, that just tells this program what it's going to use to execute it. And you could do this with other interpreted uh, languages, Python. So if we just do that, Control X and save it. We can just make that executable. Maybe that's that might be because we don't have any containers running. So let's just run one. I would have thought I had that image local. Oh, maybe it's just because I don't have the latest one. Uh, but while that's running, uh, we're going to go ahead and see how to get the command line arguments that would follow this script when we execute it. So uh, we'll just look for bash command line arguments. And dollar sign one, dollar sign two. So what that's saying is if I just echo out dollar sign one and save and run that and I just commented out our um, our docker command for the moment so now if I clean docker 
it's just echoing that out. Uh, if I go hello world, uh, it's still just doing the first one. But we could just do dollar sign two. And now it prints them both out. Okay, so back to the task at hand. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump back into our script. We can get rid of this one. Leave that one. And I was gonna test and see if it works. Okay, so it was complaining that there weren't any containers running. And this here is getting the list of containers to remove. So it didn't find any, so that's why it was complaining. So, okay. First, we want to make sure that something is given to it, a uh, command to follow, because I think it makes logical sense to have part of the script that removes containers and part that removes images. So, I believe that dollar sign pound is the number of command line arguments. And I guess we can we can check that real quick. So zero. And this should be three. Okay. So we're good. And we will say if the number of command line arguments. We want at least one. So that looks good. I think it's just NE, but let's see an example. Okay, so any is not equal. And we want just one argument. So if they provide uh, another word after, then that's just gonna be ignored. And it's always nice to give them a usage. And we'll go ahead and we want to make one for containers and one for images. Uh, so we'll say options. We'll see how that displays. Unexpected end of file. Oh, I think I need a fi there to finish out that if statement. Believe that's the way it works. Okay, I think that's pretty good explanation of how to use it. Um, and if we go and give it one command line argument, it's saying, okay, you gave me one. Uh, but now it's saying there's two, you gave me more than one command line argument. So uh, I believe that's good. And let's 
remove all images docker. I like DigitalOcean too, so. Oh, actually, I think I've read through that and that one. That one was good, but I just want to get rid of all images. So let's grab this guy. And let's see. So then we can grab the first command line argument with dollar sign one. That's EQ. And if it equals containers. And just note this space here is important in the brackets. Uh, so if you're trying this out for yourself and getting an error, you might want to check that. I have definitely stumbled over that one several times before. So, uh, if the command line is containers, then we'll stop and remove all containers. And actually, I should probably do an elif. sign one forgot a double quote here that not sure about that syntax so we'll do bash if l if I just want to look at a quick example I don't know why this VM has been having all kinds of connection issues. But I'm just going with it for now. <laughs> so, like I was saying, we need the space. Okay, so that looks good. Back to our script. Uh, else uh, invalid command line given I always hate debating in my head how to word things like this. Uh, because you never know how people will interpret them, but I'm the only one going to be using this script. If you're making this script for your own use, you're probably gonna be the only one using it. So whatever makes sense to you. can spell and uh, 
I like having the dash there. And I almost forgot the FI again. So it looks good. Let's give it a test. So we'll look at. So we got a bunch of images there. Uh, and actually, gonna see if we still have the container there. No, uh, but. So we'll run clean docker. Integer expression. So I probably did not use the EQ correctly. Yeah, so I don't know. Can we do not equal like that? Okay, that removed all the images. Let's see why. Oh, that's because I said not equal, and it should have been just equal. Uh, let's test with a lighter image. Uh, so, quick pull. Okay, so we have two containers, neither are running. So. And we can see those are gone. Oh, uh, let's see the images that it pulled. And we'll test the cleaning of images. And we need the dot slash just to say, hey, the script is here because my home directory isn't on path. Um, and we can just double check that, oops, not docker. Clean docker, there we go. Okay, so I think that's a good little prompt. You know, you can use one of those two flags. Um, and we can see that the images are gone. And we can actually then just move this to uh, user local bin because that is on path. So then we can just run it using the name and we don't need to use the dot slash. Um, and now if I do clean docker,
Oops. So it looks like I messed up counting the command line arguments. So now I'll need to edit it, but I already moved it to a place where I need uh, super user privileges to get to. And I don't want to run it. I want to edit it. So. So, line seven. Let's double check this. Bash check if string is equal. good let's see what Google has for us with this error So it looks like it might want double quotes. So double quotes around the command line argument or use double brackets. Let's see. It seems like in this answer they're saying they prefer the double brackets or it's better practice so let's do that So what was happening there, I wasn't providing a flag, so it was giving me the usage here. But then it didn't meet either of these two first conditions, so then it went ahead and printed that. Uh, by putting exit one there, uh, we're just going to exit the program if uh, nothing's given. So let's try it again. All right. Uh, did I pull Alpine? No. So we'll just pull Alpine real quick. So And that's right, because I need to put the dash in. All right, and we can do it with images. Perfect. So hopefully this provides some utility uh, to you out there if you're trying to clean up Docker, but also 
uh, to get the juices flowing of if you want to write a program, you have a command that you look up every other week because you keep running it. It's really awesome that you can just make a bash script, put it in user local bin, and then just run it whenever you need to. And then you don't have to look up the command every time. So that's it for now, and have a great one, everybody.